everyone and welcome back to my channel. So as you can see from the title of today's video, um, I'm going to be reviewing another Nivea product. Once again, um, I have been trying out Nivea um, products the last couple of weeks, a brand that for some reason I just haven't delved into before. V really strange, really. Um, there's not any particular reason for it. Um, but for some reason, I just haven't bought Nivea products up until the last couple of weeks, up until, you know, very, very recently during lockdown where I haven't been able to go to my usual stores to get my beauty supplies. So I've just been shopping local, you know, when I've literally been buying food, um, you know, in the shop um, and just spotting some Nivea products on the shelf. And that's literally why I started trying out the products. Um, everything I've tried so far from the Nivea range, I've actually really, really liked. Um, sorry for the wobbly camera. Um, so yeah, so this is another product from the range. This is from the Daily Essentials range as well. Um, I've already done a couple of videos, if you haven't seen those, um, on some of the other products from the Daily Essentials range. Um, this is the Cream Care Cleansing Cream Wash. Um, so obviously the Daily Essentials range is a range designed for everyday use. So it's pretty simple, very gentle on the skin. You know, it's, it's, it's perfect for every single day. It's not treatments, it's just everyday products. Um, it says down here, um, cleanse thoroughly, cleanses thoroughly yet gently, protects from drying out for a soft skin feeling with skincare and skin caring ingredients from Nivea for all skin types. Um, and it's 150 ml. So it's a really nice big tube and it is a tube. I'll show you the bottom. For some reason, I really like the um, Nivea lids. I said that in the last one. Um, I don't know why, it's just strange. But anyway, it says up on the bottom. Um, this is the back. Um, enriched with skincare. Why do I keep saying that? Enriched with skincare ingredients from Nivea. Cleanse the skin thoroughly. I cannot speak today. I'm tired, guys. I'm sorry. Cleanses skin thoroughly and gently, remo removing, oh my god, removing impurities, protects skin's natural moisture balance and prevents drying out. The caring formula with, don't know what that says, panthenol and the unique scent of Nivea cream is suitable for all skin types. Um, it says it leaves the skin feeling clean and touchably soft, looking naturally beautiful. Um, apply to wet face, massaging, blah, 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 rinse off with lukewarm water. And all of that stuff so you know pretty simple pretty basic um, so anyway I will squeeze a little bit out just to show you what it actually is like now I've tried quite a few different um, cleansing um, creaming you know creamy face washes um, so I thought it would be similar to that but let me show you um, so this is what it looks like if I just um, it literally like if you didn't know what this product was, you would think it was face cream. So it's literally the same as a face cream. Um, you can see me rubbing it in now. It's literally just, ignore my nails, quarantine. Um, there's a reason they look like this. And I'm not just saying that. Um, but yeah, so as you can see, I'm just rubbing it into the skin and it literally is applying like a face cream. So I know it is a creamy face wash but I've had creamy face washes. I don't know about you, but I've had creamy face washes in the past. Um, and they tend to, the ones I've tried anyway, yes, they've been creamy on application, but then when you start to massage it into the skin, um, it starts to lather up a little bit, starts to foam up slightly, you know, with especially with contact with water, it starts to foam and then that's when you get the wash element of the product. With this, there is literally zero foaming there is nothing at all um which i find a little bit strange for me if i'm using a face wash i expect to see some type of creamy foaminess something even when it is a creamy um, product it still kind of lathers up slightly it still creams up more whereas as you can see this doesn't cream up at all it literally just kind of disappears into the skin and then you wash it off so it's not something that I'm used to. Um, however, um, you know, having said that, it did leave my skin feeling very, very soft, um, very moisturized, very hydrated. Um, and for me, the test is when I try new products out, I like to test them out in the evening. Um, so I cleanse my skin, you know, remove my makeup if I'm wearing it. Um, 
try out the new product at night and then what I like to do is I like to see how my skin feels in the morning so um, for me that's a brilliant test because you know if I'm using this on bare skin going to bed nothing on my face you know not applying a night cream just going to sleep and then in the morning I can see what my skin looks like what it feels like if it feels extra soft if it feels extra plump if it feels extra smooth if it's got a certain glow to it if it looks any different I know that that's the the product that I used the night before so that's what I did with this when I first tried it um, I've had it um, I don't know a few days now um, but when I first tried it you know that was the ultimate test after I first washed it um, and I dried my face my skin didn't feel that much different if I'm honest it was it was felt quite soft but it wasn't overwhelmingly wow oh my goodness you know my skin feels transformed um, you know on the first one it didn't really feel that much different however like I say in the morning I did notice that my skin did feel extra smooth extra soft softer than it did the day before when I hadn't used this um, so I definitely think it does what it's supposed to do. I don't think it's the most, you know, um, nourishing face wash that exists. Um, but I do like the fact that it is this cleansing cream wash. Um, and because it doesn't foam up, because there's no lather, um, a good thing that you can do with this is you can actually, um, you know, if you had your makeup on, you could actually just apply this to your makeup, you know, over the top of your makeup. Um, to wash makeup off like it would actually melt your your makeup off um, You know like a creamy cleanser um, So I kind of feel like it should be called a creaming, you know cleansing just a cleansing cream basically like ignore the word wash I feel like that would be um, a better way to describe this Because um, like I said For me, I think you could apply this to your face say you had foundation on You know whatever else on your face you could apply that to your skin. You could then use, you know, a, a, a wet uh, washcloth. You could use a flannel. You could use, you know, cotton pads, um, wet cotton pads to then remove it. And then obviously remo it's removing your makeup at the same time. So for me, that's what it feels like rather than a wash. To me, it is more of a creaming cleanser. Um, but either way, it is good. It is a good product. Um, the smell, it smells, I feel like all Nivea products, or all the ones I've tried anyway, um, in terms of the creams and things, they do have the same um, type of scent. So to me, this feels, uh, sorry, smells virtually exactly the same as the cream, the Daily Essentials um, day cream that I bought and reviewed the other day, uh, the other week. Um, it smells the same as that. So for me, it's... Uh, it literally is just the same as a face cream, but obviously you're washing it off. Um, so I do recommend it. Um, I don't know if it's something I would rush out to buy again. I'm not sure. I'm, I'm on the fence at the moment, to be honest, only because I've tried other face washes that I prefer. Um, whereas the other Nivea products that I've tried, I would repurchase them again. You know, no questions asked, I'd happily repurchase it. I'm not saying I don't want to buy this again, um, but I wouldn't rush rush out to buy it. I wouldn't think, oh my God, it's run out, I need to get some more. Um, you know, so there's that. Um, so yes, that's what I think about the product. Uh, packaging, you know, pretty standard Nivea, but like I say, I always like the lids on Nivea. I think it's really um, very good. Um, you know classic packaging it's a classic brand you know I've said it on the other Nivea videos that this brand is um, is a brand that stood the test of time it's been around a long time it's not one of these bougie brands that you know all singing all dancing we contain this we contain that we've got all these luxury ingredients we do this we do that it's just a standard you know good quality um, you know skincare line so I think it's great for all ages um, I think this would be great. I think even if you had oily skin, you could still use this. I don't think this would make your skin any, any, you know, feel any greasy or anything like that. I think if you had very dry skin, um, it would be nice for your skin as well. Um, so yeah, I do, I think it's a good product and I do recommend it. Um, like I said, I'm not blown away and wow, it's amazing, but it's quite a nice product and I am enjoying using it. So hopefully this video um, was helpful to you. It only cost a few pounds. I can't remember exactly, 
but all the Nivea products that I've bought have all been um, sort of under five pounds I think I'm pretty sure four pounds ish something um, so not expensive at all um, if I have a link I will leave it below uh, and that's it for today's video hopefully you found this helpful if you did please give the video a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you all in the next one thanks for watching bye